I'm doing post commentary on this one. Wee -oo, it's me from the future. Talking over me in the past. I had some editing issues with this one. So, I borrowed this first scene from another player. Now it's a friend of mine, so don't worry about it. And just to show you where the entrance is to this video, because uh, my recorder messed Someone's up. Been here uh, you saw it too late. But you need to know this part if you want to do this mission. Oh, there's a dead person over there. Creepy! Okay, let's go up. And over. Well, I'm not going up and over, but he is. Well, you know what I'm saying. In order to get this mission side quest first blood done something must be behind here you need to open this up <laughs> oh, some spear. Nice. And then there's something blocking the entrance to this room from this side so you need to destroy this pot should be clear now yeah and now we're back with my own recording. Yay! First blood. Now we need to go back to the other side. Now, normally I wouldn't even bother with a side quest. I was like, oh, well, the recording is fucked up. Well, it is what it is. You know, one side quest, more or less, it doesn't matter. But this one is an important one, story-wise. And you're about to find out why as soon as we get in from the other side. And it has to do with well, Bayek's story so far. He's like reflecting on his own actions. And it's kind of cool. So I really wanted to share this one with you. Thanks to a buddy of mine. I got the opening scene as well. Because that one was lost to me. The first four minutes of this mission. And you need to know to destroy that pot so you can enter here. Because this thing won't move. If you don't destroy the pot. So normally, you would come to this part, and you would see it like this. And the path would be blocked. Now you can just do this. Aww. And you can go in. And now, it truly starts. Rujaksaro. I marked his name off my list with this. Now it sits on the ground, forgotten. This is where we started. That's pretty cool. But it's about to become even cooler. I mean, it's a sad story and all, you know, by ex son getting killed and, you know. Exited the area. Yeah. There's more. If she does scarabs, bug thingies crawling. You always know that it's a breakable wall. And since there's nothing else here, we can go in. Now going in is easy as smashing. Raw. Someone has sealed this room. The smell of the blood I spilled still lingers here. A mummified heron. A resurrection. No. Whoever did this must have known of Rudjek's place in the order. Yeah, there's more clues Rujek here. does not deserve a tomb, but this is an insult. This tomb was made for a pharaoh. Whoever did this has defiled this place. There's one more clue that we need to find. And I will eventually get to it. For some rage, some anger. Let's destroy everything that we can in this tomb. And I'm just hoping that it leads me to the uh, answer. Snakes! And it does. You see? Rujek's mask. 
could barely remember what happened after I stabbed him. This room has told me all I need to know. See, now it comes. A cool, like, virtual reenactment. was a beginning for me, and an end for Rujek. The arrow marked both of those things. After I stabbed that bastard, things went dark. When I came back to myself, Rujek was dead. Rujek's body should have been left to rot. He has been laid to rest with respect by someone who wanted him to enter the Duat prepared. Whoever buried him also left this heron mummy to honor Rujek with his God's damned namesake in the afterlife. They then returned here to pay respect to Rujek. If these candles are any indication, no matter what, I know Rujek's heart was found lacking. That bastard suffers in the afterlife, no matter what was done here. True that, man. True that. See, this was an interesting side quest. But I do not regret my actions. The feather will always be lighter than my heart. Well said, Bayek. Now, back to the normal timeline again.